Hi there, I just thought I'd do a video log of my um, experience having a vaginoplasty at Nuffield Health in Brighton. Um, so on day one I arrived, um, like, well I arrived the night before my surgery. So um, I was met by a nurse and my stuff was taken to my room. And it's a very nice room, It's you've got like a bed and um, a window and a TV and an ensuite bathroom and a little shelf to put all your belongings on like your if you have like a laptop or phone or if you bought like a switch or something with you you can put it on there and keep it by your side. Um, then I was kind of left by myself um, but you're given a, a call button so if you ever need any any assistance you can just press the button and a nurse will show up and let me just say all the nurses there are absolutely lovely like they're all so kind and helpful and wonderful. I can't fault them at all. So, um, yeah, you should really not worry about, like, being cared for because you will be to, like, I, it, it was beyond my expectations, it has to be said. Um, so my first night I mostly just, like, killed time. I think I had my laptop open and I watched some shows on Netflix. You get access to the internet and it's not, like, groundbreaking, but it's enough to stream and do whatever, so it's fine. Um, I woke up on day one, um, so the Monday, and um, I, uh, yeah, um, you have like a proper, you have a full shower with a scrub, and you're um, given a enema, and uh, oh god, so the enema is it's it's not an enjoyable experience, it has to be said. It's um. They basically pump some stuff up your bum and you get quite an uncomfortable stomach for a while. You have to hold it in for half an hour. And this is just to empty your bowels out completely before the surgery. So, um, yeah, that was um, an experience that I won't repeat in a rush. But again, the nurses are all really nice and I managed to... Uh, what was I saying? Um, yes, anyway, you had the enema, and that's, that's that. Um, yeah, then you have the shower, and then you, you kind of pass time. So my surgery was second in the day, so I kind of just watched... Um, oh, they have a camera set up, so on the TV you can watch um, the nesting kestrels they have at Nuffield, which is quite nice. I mean, I'm quite a bird person, so I got to watch them, three or four babies, and parents. Anyway, this is irrelevant. Um... Yeah, so when my time came for surgery, I was taken with my bed to um, the operating room. And Oh, I know, before this, sorry. Um, before this, I met with the anaesthetist and the surgeon. And they're both really nice. I had um, Dr. Lana was my surgeon. And um, I had a little chat with him. And then I was taken through to the operating room when my time came up. And, um, yeah, um... It was a little bit of banter before, while I was um, waiting to be um, injected. And then when I was injected, I just fell asleep. And, you know, how surgery is, you just kind of wake up a few hours later on. And um, you're given a catheter, which is, it's quite uncomfortable, it has to be said. It made me feel like I needed the loo a lot, even though it, all it's doing is, like, draining your bladder constantly. Um, it took some getting used to, so... I mean, it's a bit uncomfortable for a few days, but it's definitely manageable. Um, the nurses there will manage your pain really well. Like, if you um, if you feel pain at any point, you can buzz them and they'll give you some extra painkillers. And, um, I mean, obviously they won't just, like, drip feed them to you. But if, you, um, if you're in pain, they'll help you out. Um, so my first day after surgery, I was kind of just drifting in that sleep. I don't remember a huge amount of it. But, um, yeah, I, oh, you're given consomme, uh, to eat, which is like a clear soup, so it's more drink. You're on a, um, a liquid diet for the first couple of days when you're there. So, yeah, consomme, juice, and water, and, um, I was a bit silly and I didn't really realise what consomme, my, my adult brain was like, oh, I have two glasses of water and a juice, I'll just drink the juice, and I didn't have the consomme, which was quite silly. Um, so don't do that. 
basically is the moral of that story. Um, yeah, so I slept the first night um, pretty well, I guess. You're quite zonked from the anesthesia and stuff anyway, so it was all fine. And um, yeah, so day two, um, you have to lie flat on your back the whole time. You're not allowed to like sit up or anything. The same as day one, really. Um, so you can have your phone and stuff, but you have to kind of hold it above your head, which is kind of awkward. Um, yeah, but again, the nurses will take care of any pain you have. Um, you're still on a liquid diet, so it's delicious consomme and um, juice. I did figure out what the consomme was the second day. And um, yes, it's okay. It's not like the worst thing in the world. But the food at Nuffield is actually really nice. Like They do a great job there. Um, so yeah, I mostly just spent the day. I think I, I called my parents and I called my partner. And I watched the Kestrels. And I'm, I, I'm pretty certain there are other channels on the TV. But I had some strange Kestrel obsession when I was watching these little babies. And it was quite... Maybe I was still quite adult. Or maybe I was just high on painkillers. It's kind of hard to say. Um, you get sponged, you can't really clean yourself, so you're kind of cleaned um, by a nurse, and um, you clean your top section at least. Um, yeah, so there's not much to say about day two really, but day three is when you um, you sit up for the first time, so you're taken out of bed and moved to a chair for ten minutes. So for the most part the day is pretty much the same, but you have to get up and go into this chair, and um, I fainted, which wasn't, I mean, it's kind of expected because you've been laying flat for two days straight, and you've had major surgery and whatever, but um, yeah, I made it to the chair, and then kind of, I sat down, and suddenly my light, my vision just kind of filled with many colours, and then I, I blinked, and I was kind of being helped back into bed by a, a whole group of nurses that weren't there a moment before, so that's my story. Um, then you're given, um, toast for the first time, and, oh boy, it's going to be, it's delicious toast. Um, nothing too exciting, it's just kind of toast and butter, but, um, it tastes wonderful. It's the first, like, solid food you've eaten in, like, three days. I think the last thing I'd had was, like, an egg sandwich the night before. Like, they give you part of your, um, uh, resi low residual low residue diet than the night before, so I had to get an egg sandwich and that was it. Um, that was three days ago. I'm off track. Um, yes, so you just have your, your your toast for the first time, and it's nice. Um, you're allowed to sit up a bit more as well, so um, I passed my time playing Super Smash Brothers because I've had that game for ages and I never really played it, so I enjoyed that, that was very nice. Um, day four is like day three except you um you sit up twice during that day so you have one session in the early afternoon and one session later in the afternoon and that went fine for me i didn't faint that time so two thumbs up for me hooray um yeah so you um yeah it's, it's very similar to the day before and you have you're, uh, you're once again on hard food. Um, yes, and then day five is like a really big day because it's the day you have like your pack removed and the cat comes out and you're introduced to um, dilation, which is um, when you, have, like, you use the, um, they would have shown you beforehand, the plastic kind of I want to say they're dildos, but I, I don't think that's the right word for it. And I'm horribly um, uninformed about various things. I'm a bit of a prude. I'm sorry. Um, yes. Uh, so um, this is where I kind of, I stumbled a bit in that I don't regret having the surgery at all. Like, I absolutely 100% wanted to have the surgery but you offered the, the choice of like vaginoplasty and vulvoplasty and I went for the full vaginoplasty 
and um, when you're introduced to the maintenance side of it, like having to dilate three times a day, you can't really appreciate how much work it is until you actually go through it for the first time. And I think I kind of felt quite sad. I kind of, I don't regret the decision, but at the time I really felt quite emotional. The fact that I suddenly feel like I'm facing like months of doing all this, this work and it's, it's not pleasant. It's quite definitely, it's definitely quite difficult to go through. And the thought of having to do it three times a day is very daunting. But um, if you do feel that way, don't worry, you aren't alone because I felt like it. And I've had a friend before me who um, I spoke to and she said she was very similar at the same time. She didn't want to tell me because she was worried she'd scare me. But um, yeah, I think it's important that you are prepared to experience these things. So, I mean, you might you might be one. You might absolutely love the idea of pushing plastic rods inside yourself. I am not so thrilled at the idea because they aren't soft. They are very kind of hard and it's not very enjoyable on a freshly operated area but anyway um I got through it and the gender care team there are once again really lovely the two nurses that help you um and run you through the, the procedure the first two times are fantastic I can they're really friendly I I you can chat to them and they're just they're just really nice and they'll look after you I swear I'm not being like paid to say this. I just I really 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 can't stress enough how nice the nurses at Nuffield were. Um. Yeah. So after that, it's kind of day six. So you wake up. You have to do your dilation on your own. Um. This time. Um. You have a shower and um. They're trying to get you to um have a poo because obviously all your uh, medication stuff it can uh, really give you constipation so um, I uh, yeah yes I'm not going to go into the details I was about to and I don't think I think I'll spare you those um, yeah so then yeah it's your last day there so you kind of pack up and you're out by about one o'clock um, they carry your bags down for you because you're not allowed to do any heavy lifting. And um, yeah, I was picked up and I was taken home. And yeah, today for me is day seven, so this is exactly seven days since I had my operation. I probably actually woke up about this time on the day, actually. So yeah. Um, so I just thought I'd give my account really because I think it's nice to like. I don't know, if you're going into surgery, you might want to know a bit about what to expect from someone who's been through it before you. So again, um, I went to Nuffield, Brighton, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's probably very similar wherever you go. So, yeah. Um, thank you for listening, and I hope that was helpful to you. Um, yes. Bye.